Yeah, and you know, and this is the first time we're really hearing of this new time frame, and this is going to have an impact. Now, for example, I just got off the phone with Joe Thomas. Now, he's the leader of the largest teachers union here in Arizona, and he's telling me that he is very doubtful at this point that teachers and students are going to be returning back to the classroom for this current school year. Now, it was the state's top health official, Dr. Kara Chris, who revealed that data reviewed by the state health department shows they expect illnesses to peak about mid-April, with peak hospitalizations then happening around the beginning of May. Now, Chris would not say how many people they expect to fall ill or die from the illness, but she did say that the state has a lot of needs to fill before they hit that expected peak time. Now, Chris said Arizona needs an additional 13,000 hospital beds and 1,500 ICU beds on top of the current levels they now have of 16,000 beds and 1,500 I see you, Bats. We believe that the peak of our, our illnesses will start mid to um, end of April with peak hospitalizations in May. That's what we're doing. I don't have a, this is all based on computers and very smart people, um, but that's what we are trying to get ahead of. And in, in closing, in closing, the idea is to reduce the number of deaths, reduce the number of illnesses. That's what we're focused on every day. That's what the decisions have been to date, and that's what they'll continue to be. Thanks all very much. And just another word about those projections about how many people here in Arizona may fall ill, how many people may end up dying from this illness. Now, Chris says that they do have those projections. That is a record that they do keep, but she did not have them on hand to share with us this afternoon. Send it back into you. Hey, Dennis, the governor also talked about a number of things that are being done to help Arizonans right now who are struggling with money, but he didn't really reveal any plans of the bigger long term plan that he's working on. No, he's got what he's been calling the economic protection plan. Now, we tried to press him um, more on that. He's kept saying, again, for about the second, third day in a row now, he has said that that plan is forthcoming. One of the key questions, and he wouldn't answer that here today, was whether or not he planned to lift the cap on unemployment payments here in the state, which is the second lowest in the country. Right now, it is capped at 200 and $40 a week. Now, we have spoken to some top economists here in Arizona that says, look, people, the state just cannot survive on so many people making just $240 a week. We talk, One of those economists who happened to be, uh, you know, Elliot Pollack, who estimates right now a third of Arizona's economy has been shut down because so many people work in that service industry. And if they are making these kind of wages right now, there's just no way they're going to be able to survive, no way to be able to keep this economy going, um, as we have seen here in the past. Yeah, and even if people get those checks from the government, which we are expecting them to, that money is only going to last for so long. Well, and just one more one more point on that. Now, I was told earlier today by Kirsten Cinema's office that they expect that the IRS is going to be able to get some of those payments out, those direct payments to families and, and, and workers out there. They expect to get those out sometime next month. So they're trying to work quickly on this and you know do what a lot of economists are saying right now, and that is get cash quickly into the hands of American workers. Yeah, but the money cannot come fast enough. Dennis Welch, thank you.